Okay, so I'm Satoru Takeuchi, uh, working at uh, Cyboards. So today I introduced uh, uh, best practice of production looks of cluster uh, created by uh, we Cyboards. So with the uh, so first we, uh, I introduced uh, uh, my company Cyboards and our uh, storage system. So uh, the, uh, Kubernetes and the Lock is a uh, very complicated system. So uh, first, I uh, I'll have a, uh, I'll present a uh, quick introduction to Kubernetes and the Lock. So second, <coughs> I'll introduce the uh, Elements the Lock Safe Cluster. Uh, uh, it means uh, our our cluster. So <coughs> next, uh, I'll show you the uh, our effort and uh, current challenges. And the last, uh, I conclude the, uh, this presentation. So first, uh, I'd like to confirm the uh, people uh, used uh, Kubernetes and Look. Uh, could you raise your hand if you have never used uh, Kubernetes? Oh, okay. So uh, also, could you raise your hand if you have uh, not familiar with Look and never used Look? Oh, okay, no problem. Uh, I'll have a quick introduction. Uh, everything, uh, I'll uh, explain everything about Kubernetes in three minutes. No problem. <laughs> okay, so first, uh, Cyboz and uh, our, cross, our system. So about Cyboz, uh, Cyboz is a leading cl uh, cloud provider, uh, service provider in Japan, and providing uh, web services that support uh, teamwork or, uh, in, in companies. So our infrastructure, uh, let's explain the, our infrastructure. Uh, we have an on-premise infrastructure, not in the cloud, uh, cloud environment. And the current system has many, many problems, uh, especially it's uh, not scalable and uh, a lot of data works. If our uh, machine was down and breaks, uh, there are many, many works I should, uh, I should do it. So now uh, to <coughs> Uh, we're developing uh, uh, new, in, uh, new infrastructure, and it's on top of Kubernetes, and uh, uh, its storage system is safe, and uh, uh, Rook. And uh, Rook is uh, uh, probably, you know, the safe orchestration in Kubernetes. So uh, let's, uh, let me explain the, uh, why we use safe. Um, it's because we um, safe fulfills uh, all our requirement, like uh, block and object uh, provided, uh, block and object storage, and lock failure toleration, and virtual tolerance, or something. So, uh, more, uh, more another important thing is uh, open source. It's open source, so uh, we can uh, di we can do the detailed evaluation, evaluation, and invest investigation of some problems. And uh, we also can use uh, our custom container in case of emergency. I'll explain it uh, about it. Uh, uh, please see, uh, see you later. So, <coughs> why look? So, uh, we we need to uh, we want to manage our storage system in Kubernetes native way uh, uh, with other system components. Uh, as I said, uh, our infrastructure is on top of Kubernetes. So the managing hardware of something, uh, we need to, uh, we also uh, want to uh, manage um, storage, system, uh, storage hardware uh, on top of Kubernetes. And by using Rook uh, and Kubernetes, I, I can, uh, we can offload a lot of work to Kubernetes, uh, like uh, lifecycle management of hardware. It, it, uh, it's a Kubernetes and, uh, and that uh, layers work. And uh, uh, we can also uh, load uh, mon failover and restart problematic safe demons like OSDs to Kubernetes. It's a Kubernetes work. So here is uh, our uh, storage system. So the, uh, let's see the bottom side of the uh, this uh, this illustration. So uh, left bottom left side is a node uh, at which uh, have the uh, HDDs, and the uh, right side is a uh, node with uh, NVM SSD. So uh, from uh, we have two uh, safe clusters, uh, safe cluster for RGW and the safe cluster for RBD. So RBD is from the uh, RBD uh, create OSDs from NVM SSD. 
But uh, uh, NVMe SSD is uh, expensive and the precise resource. So we uh, share the uh, SSDs uh, for uh, safe and uh, local storage. Uh, local storage. So application use uh, uh, can use directly uh, local volumes, and uh, they also uh, use uh, NVMe SSD based uh, safe cluster, uh, uh, in other words, LBD. So, <coughs> so safe cluster for L uh, RGW consumes the uh, OSDs from uh, HDD and NVMe SSD, the indexes from uh, OS, uh, from uh, NVMe SSD, and uh, uh, data is uh, on the HDD. So, uh, and the two uh, clusters are uh, managed by Luke in this case. So next, a uh, quick introduction to Kubernetes and Luke. So what is uh, Kubernetes? Uh, it's a uh, uh, container orchestration, and uh, all services uh, works as a pod. Uh, pod is a set of containers. So uh, the bottom side is a Kubernetes, and there are many, many nodes and uh, uh, applications and the safe, uh, safe OSD demos or something is uh, works as a pod. It's a set of containers. So the con uh, here's the concept of the Kubernetes. So all configurations are described as a resource uh, in, the, uh, in terms of the Kubernetes, Kubernetes resources. And the Kubernetes keeps the uh, desired state of the real system. So left side is the Kubernetes world it consists of uh, Kubernetes resources. So uh, there are, in this case, there are three resources, pod resources and the uh, PVC resource and the uh, PV resource. Pod means the uh, uh, service, any service application or safe, uh, safe demons or something. And the PVC means the, uh, the claim of the storage. So in this case, uh, uh, the PVC, uh, we can write uh, uh, yeah, in, uh, claiming uh, 10 gigabytes volume in the uh, YAML format. And the PV means the uh, actual storage. These are uh, 10 gigabyte volumes. So the, if pod uses the um, pod, uh, uses the PVC, it, uh, and Kubernetes meets, uh, finds the um, matched, uh, matched uh, volume. So the PVC and the PV is connected. So the, uh, uh, from the uh, getting the info, Kubernetes uh, getting uh, this information and uh, uh, keeps uh, its it desired state to the real system. Uh, there is, if there is one node, a uh, port is created and uh, and the 10 gigabyte volume are provisioned by a storage provider and the port consumes this, uh, this volume. So here's the concept, uh, concept of look. Uh, all safe components uh, are described as resources, Kubernetes resources. Look keeps the uh, uh, desired state of the uh, safe clusters. So first, admin creates the uh, safe cluster resource. Safe cluster resource is also the uh, Kubernetes resource. And if you, uh, we want to use the uh, um, safe block pool, uh, uh, RBD, uh, we use we want to uh, we use the safe block pool resource, and uh, uh, to provide the OST, we uh, we sh on, should <coughs> should deploy a PV resource for our OST, and then uh, look pod uh, watches the left side of resources and creates the right side resources. Like the uh, there are <coughs> in this case there are one monitor, one manager, and one OSTs. So um, there are uh, three resources uh, respectively. And uh, in this case, pod consumes the PVC. Uh, uh, pod uh, consumes the, P uh, use the PVC. That consumes the uh, pre-provisioned -pre -pre PV resource. So in other words, it's this disk. So uh, if there are four nodes, uh, one uh, rook pot is in one node and one pot is one node and uh, uh, mani there's mani also a manager port and OST port and the OST port consumes uh, uh, a disk uh, ex explained in the, this PV resource. So next, uh, it's uh, uh, advanced look cluster or it's our cluster, cyborg cluster. 
So uh, our RockSafe clusters, our requirement is uh, uh, there are three replicas for both uh, RBD cluster and the RGW cluster. And it has a lack failure toler uh, tolerance. If we lost uh, one lack, uh, we can uh, save any data. So in addition, all OST uh, should be split evenly over all locks and all nodes. So uh, in addition, I, uh, I, uh, I'll show you the typical operation, uh, how, we, uh, how we accomplish the typical operation uh, of a uh, safe cluster in Look. Uh, for example, uh, create and upgrade clusters and manage OSTs and uh, et cetera. So first, uh, cre to create a safe cluster, uh, it's just uh, creates the following resources. Uh, it means the uh, uh, safe cluster uh, resource. The, its name is the safe SSD, and uh, the, it, uh, it's written in the YAML format, and manage, the count of manager is two, uh, count of mon is three, and the uh, count of OST is three. So if there are uh, three rocks and uh, there are two nodes, uh, uh, there are two nodes for each lux. Uh, mon, uh, monitor and manager and OSD are uh, deployed automatically by Kubernetes. And uh, uh, the, uh, one, more, uh, one more important thing is that uh, uh, all OSDs are evenly split over all nodes and uh, lux automatically. So uh, it's not uh, free launch and the, it, uh, the special configuration are necessary. So I'll explain it uh, later. So uh, when we uh, would like to consume the RBD, uh, first we should uh, create a, a pool for RBD. So uh, to create an RBD pool, just create the following resources. The top side is the safe block pool resource. In this case, the name is the uh, block pool, and the repl um, it uh, also has the replicated rule. The uh, replication factor is three, and the failure domain is known. In this case, uh, failure domain is uh, uh, for a crash rule, and the zone is uh, uh, a kind of Kuban uh, a kind of term in Kubernetes, and the, it means a lock in our cluster. So the bottom side is a storage cluster, which is to uh, use the, for uh, clients to consume the uh, consume the volume from a safe uh, safe lock pool. So the name is safe block, and the cluster is the uh, uh, Safe SSD, which was already uh, created, and the pool is block pool. It's the uh, above uh, resource, and uh, uh, in this case, uh, we uh, specify the ex uh, file system name and uh, yes, ex4. Then, uh, look creates the uh, uh, RBD pool uh, in the safe cluster, and uh, there is also a safe block um, provisioner, a storage provisioner. So to consume the RBD image is the uh, first, it also just creates the following resources. First, uh, we, uh, we should deploy a persistent volume claim and specify the uh, safe, uh, safe block storage class. Uh, it's we already, uh, I already created. And the next uh, port is also should be, up, uh, should be applied. The, it's claim. So this port is, the name is my port and uh, the volume is uh, created by a uh, uh, created by my claim. So my claim is the uh, uh, RBD volume uh, created by safe cluster. So um, as a uh, safe cluster and this pool and the uh, uh, safe log provisioner creates the RBD volume and it's consumed by my pot. So uh, there are. Uh, also, uh, sometimes we need the configuration of safe cluster. So uh, to accomplish this, uh, we just need to edit the log config override uh, config map resource. So uh, this resource is uh, this resource corresponds to uh, etc uh, safe dot conf. And after editing this uh, resource, we need to restart our uh, safe ports. Uh, it's necessary after after editing the uh, this resource. So in this case, uh, this uh, sorry, uh, this config map resource uh, is uh, 
uh, debug, uh, the changing the debug level of the RGW to five. And um, the some uh, configuration like uh, safe set, uh, no out or something, uh, it can't use uh, this way because it can't be set by the uh, uh, safe.conf uh, configuration file. In this case, uh, we should run safe commands in the uh, tool, a kind uh, named uh, toolbox pod. So to expand the cluster, uh, it's uh, surprisingly, uh, it's just added to the safe cluster resource. So uh, we already seen the, uh, the count field means the number of OSDs. And uh, if the previous value is three, and uh, we, uh, add, we want to add the three OSDs, we just increment this, the value from three to six. So the uh, OSD port and uh, the corresponding OSD has created, and uh, it's also uh, spread over uh, evenly uh, uh, to op spread over uh, evenly uh, lock and uh, nodes. So <coughs> next is uh, uh, replacing uh, damaged OSD. It's very easy and just run our homemade script. So uh, why? Uh, we made a homemade script is that uh, uh, there, there isn't such the uh, official job and the script. Uh, officials, uh, official way is uh, just delete OSD, but we need, uh, we, uh, we don't uh, reduce the number of OSD. So we, uh, what we need is just replacing OSD. So next, uh, upgrade local and safe cluster. So upgrading is uh, one of the uh, most uh, annoying work in the uh, safe clusters. But uh, in look, uh, it's very easy. And so edit the safe cluster resource. Uh, in this resource, uh, we have the, uh, the, the image, uh, image field, and it, uh, it specifies the continuous version. It's the uh, safe safe uh, version 17.2.6. Uh, it's uh, uh, if the old version, uh, old version is uh, uh, 2.5, uh, and uh, uh, recently uh, 2.6 has released, I want to uh, up upgrade 0.5 to 0.6. Just edit the, uh, this field. Yeah, all uh, after that, uh, all safe container image will be upgraded after that. But uh, uh, there, there might be uh, other works might be needed. So the, it's the uh, depend on the safe versions and the local versions very much. So see, uh, to uh, confirm this, uh, see files and the documentation, the upgrade a file uh, directory of local repository. So about troubleshooting. So I, I, I explained uh, everything is managed by Rook, but uh, if trouble has happened, uh, the convenience of rook, rook disappeared and uh, we should manage everything in the <laughs> by hand. <laughs> so um, it's the troubleshooting is uh, completely same as the uh, other safe orchestration or if, if you don't use the uh, orchestration, it's uh, also the same uh, running safe commands and uh, referring the log and the metrics or something and the report back to upstream and uh, uh, getting help from uh, upstream developers or community member or something. So <coughs> Rook is convenient, but it's not a silver wallet. Rook can't debug and fix uh, bugs and Rook is not a chat GPT. <laughs> so the next uh, Rook has, uh, uh, I, I already explained uh, uh, the number of OSD has the count field, has, if I uh, increase the count field, the OSD has automatically increased. So to, uh, to, to accomplish this work, uh, we, have, we should need, uh, we need uh, to configure uh, two parameters. So first one is to even OSD deployment or, of all node and all locks. And the second one is the automatic OSD deployment. So uh, the first one is uh, uh, there is a subject about EvenOSD deployment. So uh, in this case, Kubernetes deploy ports to arbitrary node by default. So OSD, OSD port on and the OSD might be uh, in, unevenly de uh, de split. 
So the, this example means the, uh, a safe cluster and the uh, count of uh, OSD, the number of OSD is three, and there are three nodes. Our expectation is uh, uh, one, one OSD for each node. But uh, Kubernetes uh, might uh, create uh, every, uh, all three, three OSDs in just one node. And if the, uh, this node had broken, uh, all data has disappeared. So to resolve this problem, uh, it's, uh, it uh, uses the topology spread constraints feature of Kubernetes. Uh, this feature is to spread specific ports uh, evenly op uh, over uh, all nodes. Or uh, if, you, if you like uh, the spread over all logs or all search, or it's also uh, possible. So in this case, the, uh, we can specify the topology spread constraints uh, field in the safe cluster resource, and the label selector means which port uh, should uh, we uh, categorize the uh, even, sp even port spreading. In this case, uh, logsec OST and logsec OST prepare is the uh, uh, port for OSTs, and uh, uh, logsec OST is a running OST, and logsec OST prepare is the uh, uh, OSD creation port. Uh, so the safe volume command has uh, run in this port. And the, uh, bottom, li the bottom line is the topology key. It means uh, uh, in this case, the host name is specified. Then uh, all, all port, uh, all OSD ports and the OSD prepare port has uh, uh, spread over all, uh, all host uh, evenly. So the, uh, to tell the truth, the topology spread cons uh, constraints uh, setting is very complicated. Uh, there are many, many pitfalls. So please see also uh, this blog I've, I've written in the, uh, 2020. So, <clears throat> okay. So in our cluster, uh, there are two constraints for both uh, node and the locks. So there are two topology spread constraints uh, and the, the one is uh, to, to specify about the zone, in other word, lock. And the, uh, another one is for a, a, a host name. So it means uh, uh, if I uh, create a safe cluster and, and the count field is uh, 20, so, and if there are three rocks and uh, each rock has two nodes, uh, there are the two OSD uh, for each node and four uh, OSDs for each lux has created. So the second one is uh, about uh, automatic OSD, OSD deployment. So the, let me explain the OSD creation flow in Look. So the first step is Look creates the PPC resources for our OSD. And the second one is, second step is Kubernetes binder a uh, PV resource to this uh, PVC resource. And the third one is a uh, look create an OSD on top of the uh, block device corresponding to this uh, PV. But uh, this uh, process is, uh, uh, can be su uh, suspended if the uh, PV resource isn't available by, uh, and uh, in other words, isn't, uh, um, is not cre uh, pro provisioned by storage driver like uh, local storage or cloud storage or something. So it's a solution is, uh, there are two solutions. The first one is use a uh, storage provider supporting dynamic, uh, so-called uh, dynamic provisioning. Uh, for example, uh, many uh, cloud storages uh, support dynamic provisioning. And for local storage at uh, top of LVM, so uh, it's for local volume and uh, uh, dynamic provision, uh, logical volume from the local storages. So uh, second solution is provisioning uh, PV resource uh, beforehand. So then <coughs> uh, safe class, uh, if we uh, have already have two OSDs and uh, increase the number of count and create uh, one, uh, one more OSD, and uh, then uh, this storage for uh, this PV and its uh, volume, uh, block volume is already exist or uh, provisioning, provisioned on demand. 
So in our clusters configuration, uh, as, as I said, there are uh, two kinds of OSDs. Uh, from, uh, one is from NVMe SSD and the other is HDD. So first one is NVMe SSD. Uh, we uh, get uh, dynamic provisioning uh, OSD uh, volumes uh, for uh, OSD by uh, top LVM uh, storage driver. And then PV resource and the corresponding LVM uh, logical volume are created uh, on OS, OSD creation dynamically. So about uh, HDD, so HD, uh, about HDD, we, uh, we don't need to share one OSD with uh, separate two or three uh, purpose uh, because uh, um, <coughs> HDD can't, uh, can't uh, handle IOs in parallel. So create PV is, uh, in our environment, uh, create uh, PV is for HDD uh, on deploying the node. And in this case, uh, if we add a node to Kubernetes cluster, then uh, the uh, PV is for, for all uh, HDD are created dynamically. So um, PV resources are already available on OSD creation. In both cases, uh, we can uh, just, we can create OSDs just by adding, uh, increasing OS, uh, count field of safe cluster resource. So the next part is the, our effort and our other effort and uh, challenges. So uh, the first one is the daily check of upstream log safe. So uh, we uh, check uh, every update of both look, look and the safe project every day. Uh, for example, the uh, GitHub and the safe issue tracker and the mailing list the blog or something. Every day uh, we check it and watch, uh, especially watch the important bug fix uh, PLs and the bug, uh, bug port them if necessary. So one example is the uh, uh, data lost bug in RGW. So it's uh, safe, the, uh, it's handled by uh, safe PL uh, 49795. So in this bug, uh, some object might be gone on bucket index resharing. So it's a uh, serious bug for us. So <coughs> We now uh, we now use uh, uh, safe uh, with 17 uh, 2.5. So in this version, this problem is still alive, and this problem uh, is fixed in the uh, new 17.2.6. Uh, so now uh, we uh, restrict uh, bucket resharding, and there are many many uh, slopes, but <laughs> we can't update it. So probably the uh, next uh, next month we will upgrade uh, my, our cluster to uh, 17.2.6 and uh, the limitation has disappeared. Yes, it's our daily uh, daily work. So second uh, point is the uh, upstream first development. We've shared everything with the safe communities. So it's to uh, it's due for uh, two reasons. Uh, the first reason is to reduce the long-term maintenance cost. We, we'd like to uh, avoid the, uh, a kind of fork hell. It's, <coughs> uh, it uh, increases the support cost very much. And the second one is, of course, uh, make both communities, road safe community, better. Uh, if uh, I, uh, uh, we uh, feed back everything to uh, look and safe cluster, everyone uh, get happy. So our major contributions are the first implemented the LookSafe, uh, Looks Advanced Configuration. We, we, we implemented this and uh, I'm now, uh, I've been working as a safe maintainer uh, for two or three years. And uh, <coughs> as about uh, SAFE, uh, we resolved some problems in containerized SAFE cluster. Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, five or six uh, bugs uh, mainly uh, restarting, uh, sometimes restarting uh, safe daemons uh, breaks, uh, restarting OSD daemons breaks the uh, OSD metadata. This, uh, this problem has already uh, fixed. So the last one is uh, running the custom containers. If there is a critical bug and we can't wait the next release, so fixing this problem, so we want to use the uh, 
a custom container before releasing the fixing version or before applying your fixing version. So the, our custom container uh, often uh, is the official release plus uh, critical patches for us. So <coughs> for this purpose, uh, we have uh, been tried to learn topology in our uh, tester environment to verify uh, custom containers. So uh, why we try to uh, learn topology is that uh, we, uh, once we try to uh, use custom uh, custom containers often, but uh, for the next previous year, uh, 2022, uh, we lost all data of our uh, development cluster uh, be, uh, due to a uh, serious bug in the main branch. So we decided to run uh, in every, uh, all uh, uh, tests in tosology by, my, by ourselves. So then, uh, at that time, the succeeded, we succeeded in uh, running all, all topology tests, but uh, most of the tests uh, still fail. So, and uh, we'll continue to fi uh, fix uh, this problem and uh, we'll fi uh, feed back to the uh, safe community uh, if necessary. So, uh, we also, as uh, the remaining works, uh, for example, backup restore are uh, not implemented yet and there is no uh, remote async replication and uh, more automation is necessary. Uh, for example, if, uh, as I said, uh, the replacing damaged, damaged OSD is uh, accomplished by uh, running just one script, but uh, we also need to uh, detect the damaged, uh, if OSD is damaged, and uh, run this script automatically. So this kind of automation uh, uh, we want to uh, do this kind of uh, more, uh, more automation. So the last part is the conclusion. So Rook is an attractive option of uh, safe orchestration. There are many orchestration like uh, safe ADM and uh, Rook and something. But uh, especially uh, if you are familiar with Kubernetes, uh, Rook is a very attractive option. And uh, if you use the uh, advanced configuration I uh, introduced in this uh, presentation. So, uh, so we will, uh, we cyborgs will continue to provide feedbacks to look safe communities. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, do you have any question? Um, I'm just curious about your script for replacing damaged OSDs. Ah, okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> so uh, there is a uh, Kubernetes uh, Kubernetes uh, subcommand to uh, managing rook safe, and uh, I, I forgot the name, but uh, Kubernetes Kube control rook safe. Is it correct, <laughs> Travis? Yes, yes. So uh, if we uh, if many people, uh, many people want to use this script, uh, we can uh, the, we can upstream uh, this script to uh, to a Kube control rook safe command. Yeah. Yeah. Slack channel. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. A question, uh, one of your future work items you had remote replication, is that referring to building on like RBD mirroring or multi-site or CephFS mirroring or, or what, what is that referred to? Uh, uh, in this, uh, you mean the, uh, what kind of feature uh, corresponding to the replication? So in this case, yeah. uh, uh, in this case uh, we, we'd like to use the uh, official Ceph's uh, RGW replication and uh, RBD's replication and uh, it's also pr uh, provided by the look and uh, by custom resources. We have not uh, evaluated uh, this uh, Rook's feature, but we will evaluate it and uh, our feedback to Rook community and safe community. Okay, yeah, so Rook has those features, you're just saying you yep. need to build on that. Yeah. Okay. 
Any other question? Nothing. Okay. Thank you very much.